And you might have a cup of coffee as you're scrolling through social media and you might admit to making impulse purchases. Here's the news. You can crush your budget by doing that. Luckily for us, finance expert and professor Dan Ricardo joins us live with some tips on how to not get sucked in with all of the fancy Instagram ads. Hey, Dan, how are you doing? Hold on, Leslie, I've got to hit buy. Hold on one second. There, <laughs> there we go. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling great. This almost got me yesterday. I didn't even realize that you can shop now on TikTok, and I almost bought a dress, and I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> so I held up on that. But how much, how much are folks spending on social media shopping? These numbers are incredible. 48% of us admit that we now shop on social media. It's become routine for many of us. Um, how about this, though? $71 billion worth of impulse purchases were made last year, according to one estimate, one survey. And um, 50, And here's the troubling aspect, though, Leslie. 57% of buyers say at some point they've regretted a purchase they've made. And oftentimes they make these purchases because, well, you know, it's on social media and it's done by an influencer and you want to fit in and it blows your budget. Yeah, that, that'll get you. You talked about it. The money's a downside. What are the yeah. other downsides of shopping on social media? Yeah, well, there's no question it's impulse purchases. Look, impulse purchases have been around for as long as retailers have been around, right? You go through a Target checkout line, you pick up a pack of gum. Well, this is a little bit more serious because oftentimes these things are more expensive. And what we're seeing is there's a direct correlation between online shopping, uh, social media shopping, and unfortunately, especially with younger consumers, increased debt. And that's really where the problem comes in, Leslie. So, you know, and, and it all sort of feeds into it. We see fake reviews and everything else all trying to create this hype around shopping by influencers oftentimes especially toward these younger consumers to get them to spend money. Mm, yeah, I've seen it before too, like the IG sales. Uh, how do we yeah. outsmart these marketers, Dan? Yeah, here's what I tell my own kids, right? Because they, they, they do a lot of shopping on social media. So number one, wait 24 hours. If you see something that you're thinking you want to buy, great. Give a little cooling off period, come back to it. And if you still want to buy it, go ahead and do it. But wait a little bit. Number two, Create friction. Here's what I mean by that. Delete your credit card information from these online shopping sites. And that way, each time you do want to buy something, you have to re-enter that information. Creates a little friction, causes you to think about it a little bit, right? Uh, block ads, you can do that easily now, oftentimes, or you can change the ad stream. Best advice, take a break. It's okay every once in a while to say, you know what, I'm gonna pull back maybe watch some old fashioned TV, <laughs> maybe read a book. I'm out of social media for a little bit. I love it. Read a book, grab a cup of coffee, join us on Good Day Austin. Sounds perfect. We appreciate your love time it. as always. Personal finance expert Dan Ricardo. thanks for joining us. We'll be right back. Thanks, Leslie. See you next week. Take care. <laughs>